Lewis Ferguson has finally put pen to paper. He's found a new club. He will be completing his transfer, but he will not be following in the family footsteps. He will not be going to Rangers. He will be doing what a lot of Scottish players have been doing recently. and He'll be making a move to Italy to sign a contract with Bologna, who have agreed a fee of 2.5 million euros plus add-ons for the Scotland international. I think Aberdeen got a wee bit less here than they wanted but regardless I believe the add-ons approximately bring the deal up to around 3 million and um, that is not bad. It's not bad. Keep in mind Aberdeen will owe Hamilton a small portion of that. Back in the day when they got Lewis Ferguson from Hamilton it went to Tribunal. Things got messy. I believe there's like a not Lionel Messi just really messy. I believe there is like a sell-on fee in there as well. I remember Hamilton wanted like over a million, they ended up getting quarter of a million, so Aberdeen will have to take a chunk of this money they're getting for Ferguson and they will have to get it to the Ackies. But um no, I mean Ferguson, good player, and it's it's another it's another sale for Aberdeen that just weakens their squad in general. And Jim Goodwin, he's got a big season coming up here because He's, he's sold Calvin Ramsey, now he's sold Lewis Ferguson. The players that you kind of want to build the team around are now gone. And it, it has weakened Aberdeen quite a bit. If you look at Lewis Ferguson's goals last season, they were crucial to Aberdeen. Without Ferguson's goals, you could make a case Aberdeen could have got relegated last season. I would say without Ferguson's goals, Aberdeen could have finished 11th, you know, behind St. Johnston. And then who knows what happens in the playoffs, so... I mean, it's a big miss for Aberdeen. They're going to miss him big time. They can't really replace a player of Lewis Ferguson's quality. Well, you can, but it's it's very difficult. So we'll, we'll see if they can do it. But like I said, there's another Scottish player going to Italy. There's also rumours of Josh Doidge going to Italy as well for about three million too. So we'll see. Maybe Italy seems to be the new breeding ground for young Scottish talent. And I dig it. I mean, I think it's great. I think it's fucking fantastic. Now, obviously, I, w I do wish these players would stay in the Scottish League because it would make the Scottish League better. I'm under no allusion to that. But if, if we have to accept the reality, and reality is that the good Scottish players will move on to... Uh, either, they'll either move on to other countries or they'll move on to the old firm, right? That's basically how it works. But it's nice to see... The players actually generating decent money now, like Ferguson, you know, three about three million plus the add-ons or whatever. Josh Doy just uh, uh, roughly going around for that amount as well. Um, it's just it's just good to see. It's nice to see Calvin Ramsey going to Liverpool. You know, good amount of money there um, over the years. McKenna, McGinn. It's just nice to see Scottish players now generating millions. Whereas back in the day, unless they were coming for Rangers or Celtic, that never really happened. But who knows? Maybe Scottish football is rising, maybe the profile of Scottish football is getting better and uh, yeah, nah, it, it's good to see. So, Lewis Ferguson completes a 2.5 million deal to Bologna plus add-ons. Be interesting to see how he gets on in Bologna. We know that Rangers were rumoured to be interested. A lot of Rangers fans that didn't think he's good enough for Rangers. Bologna seemed to think he's good enough for them. So, we'll see how his career turns out. Will it help his Scotland international career or will it hinder it? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, but Lewis Ferguson is now a Bologna player, and I'm looking forward to see how he does. Hopefully he goes on to be successful, and who knows, if he does well out there, maybe he'll be back in Britain sometime, maybe a couple of years time, he could be getting eyed up by a, an English team, and he could be, you know, coming back, so we'll, we'll see, we'll see, but until next time guys, it's been Fogfit, but thanks for watching, we'll catch you later, peace.